All right, I'm going to try this video again. In two weeks, we're by Easter. They're hoping to ease some of the restrictions. Now I gotta back out of this video to start over. I just made this video and then pushed the wrong button, deleted it. Doctor warns Trump against lifting coronavirus restrictions early. He didn't say he wanted to lift them early. What the doctor's really saying is not to lift the restrictions within the 15-day guideline, which was initially put forth. And in this video, they mentioned 19 days, which is Easter, strangely, or not. Let's see, because I don't remember. <coughs> and then I'll remember my point, <coughs> if I have one. <coughs> President Trump signaling he's open to easing federal guidelines, urging Americans right now to limit social contact. Ah. Largely state. Okay, you see this street right here? I want you to imagine a soldier standing right here. One right here. And uh, probably one right around there somewhere. And imagine that is going to be part of the new normal. All that is happening is conditioning for a new normal. Now, when it comes to war, I am... Uh, uh, it's not that I want it, it's that I know what's going to happen. Like I could tell you World War with China will start in August. And uh, you'll see that I'm right. I also saw that Russian Times was calling this virus the Trump's um, Asian American virus. Interesting because we have been at war with various Arab nations which are notorious for terrorism and the Chinese are notorious for intellectual property theft spying and But you know we I'm still holding out hope that a year from now it will be apparent to me and those who listen to me and therefore know that the United States, China, and Russia are working together because if they do not, I do promise you atrocities far beyond any of their comprehension the UN with their specialists and experts and conspirators and China I do know you China I do know you I know that it's, you're incapable of honesty at this point and that's the fact and you know it too and you have the way greater numbers, and you've devalued your currency for years, and you've stolen a lot of our intellectual property. So you've done a lot of dirt. You can say all's fair in love and war, but that means you've been at war with us for like a long time. I don't like cheaters, you know? I mean, if you can't win fairly, then lose with dignity. Or, I mean, God forbid, America and China share the number one spot for the global superpower of the economy, right? You can't have that. Why? Distrust. And neither country will allow it. So, when the world war starts after a good portion of the population's been wiped out by various viruses and panic and melee warfare on the streets with forks and spoons and knives and guns and machetes and firebombs and, and arson. Um, we'll have a good time with that war. It'll be fun. I'm actually a terrible person and I love war, so that's why I talk about it. Nobody else does. They talk about the pandemic, they talk about National Guard, I talk about why the National Guard's there. 
because nobody else wants to know, or they just all know. And I'm an idiot for thinking that it's unique to know, to need to know why the National Guard's rolling down the streets and cities. And there will be many towns as well. All right, let's continue this enlightening video while I realize I'm telling you what you already know sometimes. What could the medical fallout be? Dr. Peter Hotez is Dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine and Professor of Pediatrics, Molecular Virology, and Microbiology at Baylor College of Medicine. He has been a frequent guest for us, and he joins us this morning on the phone. Doctor, good morning. Uh, good morning. Talk about the balance that the president has to meet right now in terms of getting this economy going again, but doing it in a way that does not spike the number of deaths. Yeah, I mean, uh, the president's in a tight spot, and, uh, you know, he's dealing with something that's unprecedented. Uh, here he's in a tight spot because no matter what, they're going to blame him, even if the Democrats are sabotaging the entire process by not letting... He should do this by executive order, period. He, he want, It was his idea to send the money directly to the American people, he should do it by executive order. Hold a press conference, announce it, then sign the order, or sign the order first, announce it, then send the checks out, and give people, you know, but the Democrats aren't even showing up for work at the friggin' Senate, what the hell is that place called, the Capitol building, or wherever they broadcast from. They're not even showing up. I would round them all up right now and arrest them for treason. I mean, this is... Their inaction is absolutely... They want to destroy America. I cannot make it any clearer by their actions. Their actions can't make it any clearer that I'm right. They said, no, don't send out the money because of, like, some semantics. Look up the word semantics if you don't know what it means. It's total garbage, and the reason is down the road, um, the the fact that they're that their voters are not American citizens is why there's going to be no election. If there is something resembling election, the results will be disputed, and it'll be chaos at the voting booths, and in general, it will be melee fighting. And you will be told to shelter in place. And it'll probably be called a virus. A pandemic. At some point, it'll be called what it is. When it becomes that. Until then, this really is byproducts of... And prelude to... Pandemics. Biological warfare. This is biological warfare. Courtesy of China. Wuhan. Adrenochrome Central. They eat baby soup there. Of course, there's so many of them, they'll eat anything, you know. They're hungry. That's why they're being wiped out by a virus. Food shortages are a huge problem. This is a way to get rid of uh, tons of people. And then we'll have a Great Depression, and then we'll have a war, and then we'll have a baby boom. I'm looking forward to the baby boom. I did a healing for all the women who are worth being mothers and reproducing the other day. And apparently I shined brighter than I wanted to for whoever the hell can see me. I'll be witches and vampires and demons and angels and stuff like that. I piss off uh, angels and demons and God and the devil all the time and I'm indifferent and I believe in all of these beings the reason we're doing the social distancing is because you want to avoid a huge number of patients in, a, in any particular city that's being affected from coming into the hospital at once uh, that's like the picture of him where he's uh oh that was like the picture of him where he's uh playing the media like a fiddle he's the conductor 
that was pretty funny. Oh, good news. It turns out that the Army Corps of Engineers was already following my advice, apparently, based on one article I saw. And they are turning hospitals and even dorms into hospitals. Wait, did I say hospitals? Hotels. Hotels are becoming hospitals, which I said yesterday would be easy to do. And uh, they're doing that, so that's good. So there's plenty of beds. And uh, everyone can continue receiving very horrible medical care at a very high premium. He's just making viruses. Don't mind him. The cabal was spraying that stuff right out of the back of uh, planes. Thank you. Uh, chemtrails. And, uh, nope, not contrails, chemtrails. The government even acknowledged them. They just said it was for cloud seeding. And I have seen cloud seeding happen. Um, I don't even think it was humans running it, to be honest with you. And I'm not saying it was automated either. I'm saying we have help running this planet. Which should be obvious if you have faith in God. I know, that's just so confusing. That looks like an Anunnaki phone. Kind of. Okay, troubling is code for social unrest, people being savage morons, thank you. Uh, looting, um, exploitative morons, mostly illegal immigrants and blacks, but I am certain there will be some dumb, irredeemable, um, honky, cracker, moron retards joining the majority of uh, illegal immigrants and blacks stereotypically, and they should be gunned down um, as the mass of total degenerate retards that they are without hesitation. But at the same time, at a certain point, we have to get up and, and we have to be, uh, we have to get moving. We don't want to lose these companies. We don't want to lose these workers. And on top of that, Dr. Birch yesterday at the same news conference, uh, Dr. Hotez said that the best estimate right now of the mortality rate here in the United States is 0.7 or 0.8 percent, as in less than 1 percent. Now, every life matters. And you don't want to minimize any of them. But when the mortality rate is that low, what is the balance? What would be your advice to the president if, say, he's trying to make this decision this coming weekend? Ah. So there's a new virus starting in China again. And I predicted yesterday, predicted or created, whatever, a virus yesterday that would be... Man, I gotta watch my own videos apparently to remember all my ideas I forget. Oh, the people who. Some people are gonna die fast from the virus and it won't make sense. So they're gonna come up with another virus. It's called the Hunter virus. Hunter. Orion the Hunter.
you know these two fingers on this hand I cut pretty badly while trying to fix a lawnmower I didn't put my hand in the moving lawnmower I was bending a piece of metal and one side of the metal was jagged jagged sharp but jagged ripped this finger open pretty bad they put Novocaine in it which hurt worse than anything else and burned it and cauterized it because my blood is really special it was like water that hurt a lot just saying thank you I noticed at the expiration of the 15 days to start the threat it's low. Older individuals, we have a we're seeing about 20% of for disease control. We're seeing about a third of the patients uh, who are hospitalized under the age of, of 40 mm -hmm. or 44. And and even though they're not necessarily dying, their their lives are being saved because they're in ICU. Under the age of 44. Of course, I'm 43. Under the age of 44. And the risk, I mean, it's really about Italy right now. That's right. It's all about so me. many patients in our youth that they just can't take care of them all. Yeah. And you're starting to see high mortality. So I would say, look, let's get... Did you just say you're starting to see high mortality? Because he didn't give any numbers about that, and he's lying. But he's telling us what is going to happen because of things like hunter virus. So thank him for lying to you or telling you the truth about the future. What's going on in New York? Uh, maybe we're looking at another month and then and then reassess. Uh, and I agree, you know, we can't we can't stop our economy in perpetuity. Um, what's up with that? People have face masks. Does this person have Ebola and they're like pissing body fluids all over the place because that is what we call crisis actors and sensationalism by the lying ass media. The media is a lot of fun, though. Here, even for two years. Uh, I think I think if you do it now, while the numbers are so deeply climbing in New York. Oh look! You see how they spun? They spun the person so you can see them, and now they got a a new camera angle. Obviously, they were in a big rush. And look, the person on the thing is wearing the same getup. Oh my god, look at that. What the hell's on their beak? Maybe that's... What the hell is that? Whatever. Um, it, it, and remember, now we're seeing a new epidemic coming up on New Orleans. We don't really fully understand how this epidemic is going to play out. It's a brand new virus pathogen. Give it another month. It's a brand new patented virus. It's several viruses, remember. Alright. So, real quick. My mind wanders. Sometimes... It wanders fast and it doesn't come back. I'm going to end the video because I don't remember.